Look at this little maniac. I wonder if he'll eat out of my fingers. Will you eat right out of my hands today? Here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Did you hear that? Do you guys know what that is? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. This was an egg. Hey, look. Look at this. What did I tell you? This yolk has been eaten out. Look at this. Look at this. It's an egg just hanging out. Something definitely dug this up. I bet you it was that possum. Hey, what's going on everyone? Back from another one of my bike races and uh, man, cross country riding is hard. Uh, did better than I did last time, made it all the way around. Uh, still need to work on the fitness aspect. Three laps is no joke, man. Um, so I did about 22 miles, 17th place, better than 20th. I'm not discouraged. Sometimes the coolest things and the best things you can do aren't easy. It certainly wasn't easy for me to build this place, but I had the mental endurance to follow it through. And so I'm just sharing this with you because I think we all need to stick to what we set our goals, you know? Set our goals, whatever they may be, you gotta stick to them. But that's all I'll say about that. Why don't we check and see how the animals did while I was gone? So I know we had a possum on the ring camera recently, last night, and uh, I wanna make sure that nobody got hurt. Now, possums don't normally attack healthy turtles, but I wanna check anyway. There's a Flora ambienensis. Uh, I gotta tell you, really loving how this pond has been looking these days. Uh, it's grown in nicely. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, what's up, one of the big one of our big, oh, come here. One of our giant Mexican musk turtles. I think this guy is so cool. Stereotypus salvini. It's the smaller of the two. Do you guys remember when I visited Fred a couple weeks ago? He pulled out the proper giant musk turtles. These guys are closely related, but they just don't get as big. So um, yeah, man, pretty cool. And then look, oh, don't be shy, don't be shy. Where are you guys going? They're so shy, I don't know what their deal is, but. I really love these guys. Uh, they remind me of like tiny little bears in a way. They got those beautiful claws and they got that really powerful jaw. And these guys will eat crustaceans, they'll eat pellets, they'll eat any matter of invertebrate or fish. Um, so they really are an awesome aquatic species. Let's get them back in and we'll get these guys a little treat. Very cool. <clears throat> so I like to keep my fluker food right out here. My buffet blend has been awesome. Look, this guy's actually the most friendly turtle uh, in the pond because he doesn't seem to mind being picked up as long as I reward him with a little food. And here's our Badiger borneensis. And of course I got that ring where I really like to throw all the food in the ring. The cichlids will get it. And then where did that, where did that Hamiltoni go? I don't know but there's some food in that corner in case it's actually down in there. So here they go. They got good snippers and they get right to it. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's the Hamilton eye. Look. There he is. Uh, actually, she. Really pretty turtle. And I'm so glad I still have a group of these guys here. These were some of the ones I lost from the raccoon attacks. And you can tell I'm definitely leery. We've got electric fence up here. We also have electric fence around the whole perimeter. That being said, you just got to double check. See, look, there's the two female Hamiltoni right there. One, two. Awesome. So they're waking up. There's an Orlidia borneensis. Um, borneensis. It's funny, the borneensis is right out there. And the borneensis, the Orlidia, is over here. Very cool. All right, let's... Uh, see how the other pond is doing and who's in there again i come home i walk around um even when you're I, I was only gone overnight and um i like to just make sure everything's good quite simply ah oh, here's sophia's pond here come the mesoamerican sliders these turned out to be some of my favorite turtles. They're so funny. They just kind of hang out. They're, they're just as personable as you would expect a slider to be. Look at this little maniac. I wonder if he'll eat out of my fingers. 
Will you eat right out of my hands today? One of these? Here. Yeah, pretty good. There you go. You want one too? Come here. Hey, bud. Come here. I guess he's a little shy. That's all right. Up oh, there's the fourth one. Come on out. And of course, let's have a look here. Beautiful, huh? Pink belly side neck. This one was brought to me by Greg from Greg's Turtle Haven. He's up in Georgia. He's a friend of mine. You could check him out on YouTube also. But he gave me this male because I have some females. And you can see it's a male because there is a vent very close to the tip of the tail. And the tail's quite long. There's a female right there. And here's the other. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, sorry. There's a, uh, a smaller um, spotted Indian spotted turtle, Hamiltoni, in there as well. And it's starting to kind of pop out. So that's awesome. <clears throat> we have, look at this, look at this. It's an anole, a brown anole that came down and was looking for some food. Let's see if I can give that brown anole. Let's see, watch this with a little mealworm in the buffet blend. Let's see if he eats it. It's sticking to my fingers. This is no bueno. Let's see if we can get this guy to eat. Oh boy, I think he disappeared. Oh look, look at this. That guy just got a, a turtle pellet. It got a fluker's pellet. I've never seen an anole eat a turtle pellet. It actually got it right out of the water. That is awesome. I'm feeding everybody. I don't mind. Thanks, fluker. Turns out anoles like your pellets as well. That's so cool. That is so cool. Well, lizards eating turtle pellets. What is this world coming to? I guess when you're living in the wild, you got to take a meal where you can get it and you can't be picky. That is awesome. Wow. That's neat. That's the first time I've ever seen that. All right, let's move along. Radiateds are good. We got some curly tail lizards floating around here. There's a curly tail right there. There he goes. It's fun. I like seeing all my critters. Even the uh, one, hey, hi, sweetheart. Hey, what's up? There you go. All right, what's this? Got a little schmegma on you? A little, uh, what is that? Looks like a little, doesn't smell like anything. It must be vegetable matter. I don't know. How you doing, kiddo? Very good, very good, very good. All right. Everyone seems to be okay up front, which is nice. Whew. Man, I just got dizzy. I did really exert myself today. Oh, wow, insane. So, I've got some awesome things going on. Hey, what's up, girl? There's Darwin and Socrates. I'm happy to see you. You guys all know she's been kicking butt. Yeah, look at that pretty neck. Yes, you got a beautiful neck. You got it stuck in, now you're safe. And then Socrates is doing good. Now, where's my Nostradamus? Where's Nazi? No. Up. Oh, wait a second. Nope, that's not. That's lizards running through the brush. I hear things. I don't know, nothing. Um, so I've got an amazing uh, thing happening this week and we're gonna make a video about it. You guys are gonna be stoked. Um, let's just say someone is returning to the camp. I wonder if you guys know who it is. Um, if you, you might know who it is if you're on social media, you may realize who's coming home hello nice off-roading you got there man they are awesome uh yeah this is gonna be so cool can't wait to do the video you guys can just wait and see who's coming back to the camp hasn't been to the camp in oh gosh about four years um it's an animal and i want to know if you guys can guess in the comments below who am i getting back to the camp some ogs uh some camp cannon enthusiasts may know all right oh gosh that did that hurt you did that hurt you a little slippy oh my gosh you hear that Clunk. oh anyway all right well i don't know where Nas is i like to i'll have to come back out and check oh there's a rabbit but where's nausea nausea might be hiding out because it's kind of getting late in the day okay Oh, look, I made a little wall. I didn't mortar it or anything, but at least it's better than a pile of rocks that was sitting there. You hear that? 
What's that? Do you guys know what that is? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. More babies on the way. Hey kids, don't let us stop you. Um, we love cherry heads. Okay. <clears throat> I am now checking the rhinos. Okay. There's Leon. Uh-oh, no water in Leon's thing. What's going on? I gotta turn. Oh yeah. Ooh, I gotta turn that on. I bought a new watering timer for that. And look at this. It looks like Guapo is trying to get at, oh, look at this too, at Petra. That's Petra, that's not even the male. I wonder if those guys like each other. Imagine having a hybrid rhino Cuban iguana. It's actually happened, I've seen it. Um, look at this also, another cool thing that's been going on is there have been a lot of test nests going. So it is the season for cherry head tortoises. What's this? What's this? Let's go ahead and do a little dig. It's the season. These guys are going to start digging nests again. And that means I'll be digging up eggs. Ugh, I'll be digging the eggies. See, look at all these test nests. Look at that. Tortoises will make test nests to kind of check the soil, see if it's right. Look here, look at this. Here's another one. See? They don't lay anything in it, but they get ready and they start shaping it out when they get closer. Here's another one. When they get closer to ovulating, or rather closer to laying, there's another one. My goodness. Sometimes it's important to check because you may actually find one egg that's deposited. Now they'll do this. Here's another one. Uh-oh. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh no. This was an egg. Look at that. Hey, look. Look at this, what I tell you? <laughs> what I tell you guys? You gotta check because you might find an egg. And that's weird, this was uncovered. I wonder if this was from the opossum. This, this yolk has been eaten out, but this egg's okay. Strange. Or what I was beginning to say is sometimes the tortoise will lay maybe one or two eggs in one uh, to make the predator go after it. Look at this, look at this. It's an egg just hanging out. Something definitely dug this up. I bet you it was that possum. Oh no. No. Oh my gosh. See, this is why you gotta walk around every night. Now these eggs should hatch, but my goodness. Can you imagine? I wasn't home last night. Kate said she saw a possum on the ring and um, man, that's nuts. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I'm actually out here looking around. We might have just saved two little tortoise lives and the possum got a bit of an egg. They'll go after eggs. They don't normally go after like living adult turtles unless it's a, hey guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. I thought that was a shell. I thought that was an egg shell. False alarm everyone, sorry about that. Okay, well, this is cool. At least we got these, right? Always important to get back out here and just get right to it and check in all the animals and make sure everyone's okay. Hmm, it's a little frustrating, but you know, animals are just trying to survive, even possums. And it's just my job to kind of scare them out of here with a little electric shock. Okay, the blues are good. How's Bobby Rubino? Yo, Rubino, where are you at? There he is, he's up on his perch. He loves that perch up there. I suppose we should say hello to them. Let's say hello to Robert. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, you good? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? You're looking specifically dinerific. Now, here's something I've noticed. His tail's kinking more and more, so I'm concerned. It's starting to kink a little bit more than normal. So I am worried, or is that from when he was injured. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to consult some friends of mine who deal with monitors a lot and see what's going on. He looks fine, but I think it might be some lasting damage from when he was sick. 
So maybe I'm not, I'm seeing it more now because he's getting larger. So I've heard that the king can be dehydration, um, but this seems like something that's in his body and uh, makes me a little nervous. So I'm gonna contact a couple of buddies of mine and find out what's going on. Uh, let's check these little babies. We got them secured. These are the cherry heads that I found walking about. Here they are. These guys are going to new homes this week. They're all four of these little ones are going to one spot. Nice gentleman purchased these little guys. They're all ready. They're all eating. And look at how gorgeous these cherry heads are. That, I mean, they are just spectacular. Nice dark plastrons. Okay, these incubated in the ground. These guys incubated right in the ground. So cool. And that was the youngest one that we dug up and had the yolk uh, kind of sticking out. Oh, careful. <clears throat> Put them back. All right. Sweet. See you guys tomorrow. They'll be shipped out. Uh, so lots going on. Uh, let's do a <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. No. Lumpy. He did more work. Oh, my God. See, I threw these in here, these blocks to stop him. He's moving a lot of earth, Lumpy. Hey, Lumpy, what are you doing, man? You've been uh, busy while I've been gone, huh? Oh, my God, buddy. You are a lunatic. You can really move. I should call you Dozer instead of Lumpy because you are moving a lot of earth, man. Soul cottage. That's what they do. They dig giant burrows. They're like the world's largest gopher tortoise, if you know what I mean. And how about this girl? What's she doing? She's bedded in for the evening. Uh, apparently they've been using this area because there's a lot of tortoise poop, but that's one of the hybrids she's in. Um, we are in fall. <clears throat> the temperatures are going to be dropping here. I won't really have to worry about pulling animals in at night until probably December. Oh, yes. There's, she's good. Very nice. La, 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 la. All right. Well, she's good. And, um... I'm gonna have to get these guys set up and pull them in. Hey, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Now, let's see how our handsome man, Slinky, is doing. Oh, he's got a visit with the Slinks. Make sure he's okay. Slinky! You really, you really yell for him? And he comes around. Slinky! Uh -huh. Slinky! Where the heck is he? Slinky! Check it out. Everything's growing, man. How cool is that? Wow. We got all kinds of plants growing along the margins. Papyrus getting big. Mexican papyrus. Blue Hawaii allocation. And there he is. Slinks. Come here, Slinks. You gonna come out and say hello? Again, more allocation doing its thing has a rhizome grows out and then a new plant grows off i'll probably trim that and just plant that somewhere hey buddy come here come here pal i love this lizard got it i i, I have to hang out with him hey 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 just my sandals just sandals come here oh yeah he's ready to be fed again he must have made a big poops he's looking slim again um i never overfeed the monitors it's very easy to make these animals obese and I don't want that to happen. And he's shedding more, look at him. He is shedding a bunch more. Awesome. That means he's happy and growing. He is a happy lizard. Look at that. Can't help but help him. Gotta hook him up with a little, a little shed. I know you guys do this too, right? Any of you have lizards and help them shed a little bit? But here's our boy looking good. I know it's only been 24 hours, but I just love these animals so much I have to make sure I visit with them. Okay. Now I mentioned I am getting an animal back here, but I also mentioned uh, in a couple videos, maybe two videos ago, that I will be getting some new animals donated to the camp. And that's coming up soon. I just have to get a permit from Florida Fish and Wildlife. So what could it be? I don't know. Guess below. 
I need, I'm getting uh, two new animals that a very cool reptile guy is giving to me because he wants them to live in a naturalistic enclosure. And you guys are going to freak out when you meet these two. So a lot happening here at the camp. So much that I just can't wait to bring it to you. And listen, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking on everybody. Um, and again, man, I just don't want to bore you, but I think, or I've been so happy and blessed lately to be able to ride these bikes and work with these animals and, you know, have my wife and stepchildren. And I just want to say thanks to Kate because Kate's been incredibly supportive of everything I do. Um, obviously, when she met me, I was already well on to my reptile career, but she doesn't really know me as a bike rider. And I've rediscovered my love of competitive cycling and I'm really excited about trying to learn a new skill. I've always been a freestyle rider where I do tricks. Um, and you really don't have to have endurance. It's basically a one minute run. You ride around, you do tricks. It's very um, objective, okay? Uh, whereas what I'm doing now, it's he who makes it across the finish line before the other person. And I kind of like that. There's no judges. There's just your own skill. And I'm really starting to learn. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm at the very beginning of this new skill uh, about trying to ride and, and ride for a long period of time without blowing up. <laughs> and to do it at 47 is interesting. But uh, I'm up for the challenge. And if you guys want to know more about that, if you ride bikes, you can always uh, follow on Instagram where I post some stories about some of the ancillary things that I do uh, that don't involve reptiles. <clears throat> but of course, my first love are these animals. And uh, I love watching, look at Slinky. Look at him go under that water. That is the coolest thing. That is the coolest thing you could possibly imagine. So anyway, thanks so much guys. I just want to say thanks to my wife for really being an awesome teammate. Uh, she has been just amazing. Hands me water between laps and the kids were great. And so I just, at this moment, feel very blessed. And I just want to share that, and say it out loud. And uh, thanks guys. Thanks to you too for watching these videos. Don't worry, we got a lot coming up. We got a lot to build, a lot to do. Temperatures are cooling down, which means I'm gonna get back to building and transforming this camp. So don't you worry, people. The videos are about to get wild here in the next month. All right, everyone, there you go. A little visit, checking up on the animals here at the camp. Don't forget to answer those questions I asked you. What animal am I getting? What do you guys think I'm getting back here? And then what animals do you think I'm getting donated? I'll give you a really huge hint. Both of them are turtle species. Who knows? You'll have to watch the videos coming soon. See you later.